The overall goal of this procedure is to quantify the morphometric response of the living outflow tract to acute IOP elevation in living human eyes, in situ, by examination of the trabecular meshwork under physiological conditions. This is accomplished by first measuring the pressure within the eye at baseline and imaging the limbus, the location of the aqueous humor outflow pathway, by optical coherence tomography. The second step is to repeat pressure measurements and limbus scans while IOP is being elevated with the application of 5 and 10 grams of pressure to the lateral sclera by ophthalmodynamometer. Next, after relaxing smooth muscle with one drop of tropicamide, pressure measurements and limbus scans are repeated without and during IOP elevation. Image data is then exported and processed, and outflow pathway structure morphology measured. Comparison of morphological change in response to IOP elevation with and without smooth muscle relaxation provides insights into the mechanical properties of the trabecular meshwork. The main advantage this technique has over other techniques such as atomic force microscopy is that we're measuring the trabecular meshwork in the living eye and examining the mechanical response to IOP perturbation. That response includes the influence of the surrounding smooth muscle that supports it. Generally, individuals that are new to this method will initially struggle because there's no fixation target. And fixation, or eye position, in this method is primarily adjusted by a verbal command. Furthermore, when we apply the ophthalmodynamometer, what happens is that it causes a slight shift in eye position. Therefore, the scan must be realigned before image acquisition.